Hi, I'm Richie Castellano. Welcome to my studio. Today we're looking at the Line 6 Dream Rig, which is the JTV Variax guitar, the Pod HD 500X, and the L2 Stage Source speaker. One of my favorite things that you can do with this setup is you can store everything in a single pod preset. That means with the touch of a button, I can change effects, amp models, guitar models, and guitar tunings just by hitting a button. Now, one thing that comes to mind is the possibility of doing the Rain Song by Led Zeppelin. That's a song that a lot of guitar players love to play, but you can't really play it on gigs too often because it would mean bringing another guitar that's already tuned to that particular tuning. So sometimes it's not really practical to do it. But with this Dream Rig, I can hit a single button and I can change everything so I can play the Rain Song without having to pick up another guitar or bring another guitar. So let's check it out. Let's see how to do this. Okay. We have a new preset here. It's completely blank. I'm going to hold down view and you want to go to page seven and you do that by hitting the left and right arrows here. So we're at page seven. The first thing I want to do is I want to do the acoustic part in this. So I'm going to change my guitar and you can do it right from the guitar to acoustic, acoustic five. Pretty good acoustic sound. I like that. All right, now let's go to the next page. And this is the tuning page. This is where we're going to really get the sound. Um, it says don't force. So I want to force it. So I'm going to change rotary encoder one over here until it says custom tuning. Now, as you can see, I have all six strings listed here. And there's a thing called note offset. That's what we're going to use to get this sound. Okay. The tuning to the rain song, which I wrote down here is D G C G C D. So let's offset all these strings until they say that. So here's a low E. Let's turn that down to a D. There we go. Let's go to the next string. This has to be a G. Great. And that is a C. So this one stays. Then we're going to bring this one to a C. And the first string is going to go down to a D. So let's check it out. All right. So we're really close now. We have the tuning, we have an acoustic guitar. It sounds good, but we can make this sound even better by using the pods effects. So let's get out of this page by hitting view. And we're back at my pedal board view here or my signal flow, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's put an, uh, let's put a compressor here to sort of get this to poke out. So I'm going to go to dynamics and go to tube comp, which I love. Now to edit this, I'm going to hit enter twice, like a double tap. There we go. So that's probably too squashed. So I'm going to make the threshold higher. Right, that's nice. Uh, but one thing I'm hearing now is it's a little woofy, particularly there. Okay, so we're going to use an EQ now to uh, de-woof this. Okay, I'm going to go to preamp EQ. And my favorite EQ on this that I love to use is the parametric one. Okay, so now my trick for getting out a sound you don't want is you boost the gain all the way. Now this is not going to sound good yet, but we're trying to identify the frequency that's giving us a problem. So it's not that one. There we go. So there's the woofy frequency. So now that I know what it is, I can eliminate it. So I'm going to pull it out with the gain. Maybe a little too much. There we go. That's nice. And maybe I'll give it a little extra top end just for good measure. That's nice. Okay. Back to my view page here. Okay, and let's give this a reverb. That's pretty good. All right. Let's check it out.
So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and there'll be more to come. Thanks.